Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. All right. Uh, I think we should just jump right into this, John and Will and Ben, right? The Gundys. Um, this is the second year of the Gundys? You Correct. Too. Yep. Yep. Okay. So what can you guys, um, there's, you know, there's lots of misconceptions, conceptions and all that kind of stuff out there. How about you guys give us the straight pitch for this as you both see it right now? Yeah, absolutely. So to summarize the Gundys as it is, you know, the whole point was the award ceremony was based off of my personal favorite TV show, The Office. And of course, in The Office, they have something called the Dundies. So that is mm-hmm. where... Right. Officially, the Gundys came from. So with that being said, keep that in mind now. The Gundys itself, the award ceremony itself, is for fun. It was all about bringing the community together, coming up with a fun way to kind of do goofy little awards and capitalize, not, not necessarily capitalize, but show off creators that fit those categories. I mean, mm-hmm. like one, for example, <clears throat> you know, most likely survived the zombie apocalypse. I mean, that in itself is kind of, you know, a little crazy award. Mm-hmm. But we have breakout creator, mo- you know, best male uh, influencer of the year. There's certain categories, too, that have a little bit more important than others. Right. But so I'm, I'm, showing the, I'm showing the website. So it's thegundies.com, right? And there's a FAQ. And then I guess there's categories up there. So all these categories you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Um, how many categories do you have? Uh, 15 categories and then one very special category at the end. Okay. That's, that's, that's not voted on. That's not voted on. It's actually uh, picked by one individual. Ben, you want to talk about that? Yeah, so Jerry Michalak is going to be handing out, uh, he's handpicking the Jerry, Jerry Michalak, Michalak Achievement Award. Lifetime Achievement mm-hmm. Award. So oh, he'll okay. be, um, yeah, he'll be picking someone that he believes represents you know, the, the community pinnacle yeah. of the firearms community has been a staple and, and, you know, all these all these very high class things where mm-hmm. um, represents you know, firearms in the best possible way. Safety, education, responsibility, you know, has really, you know, pushed on all sides, lived it, lived it yep. and actually has made it part of who they are. And that's kind of where that award's coming from. We particular. couldn't we couldn't think of anyone better to yeah. present that. I mean, Jerry's been a staple in the industry forever you know okay. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm a youngster by a lot of stamp people standards yeah. but right absolutely legend legend champ, you know super yeah. legend yeah. Legend. So. yeah yeah so that's the big award and then the other 15 categories are you know most uh entertainment content creator best outdoorsman um you know the big thing is obviously our industry is very big from the hunting side to the influencer side to the review side we want to be able to incorporate everybody So Mm -hmm. there's a category that essentially can, you know, find a spot for everyone to be in and come together in those categories. Now, it's very hard to narrow down our entire industry into 15 categories. Like last year we did 10 categories. This year we bumped it up to 15. I don't think we could go over 15. I really wouldn't want to. Um, It's already, you know, it's it's, takes some effort to vote in 15 categories. Any more than that's going to be pushing it. Right. Uh, So, I mean, we did our best to try to kind of, cover the spread of all the different people in the industry because at the end of the day you know as will mentioned based off of the tv show the office like this is for fun you know the guys with the biggest audience they're gonna win like there's no getting around that that's just how a popular vote works Mm -hmm. uh you know but at at the same token in those categories you know you might be with that person that has a million followers and you only have five thousand followers when you applied and we approved you, approved your application to be part of the nominations, now you're being featured mm-hmm. in that category with these bigger creators. And we've been getting literally dozens of emails saying, hey, I just found this new influencer I'd never heard of before. Thank you so much. This is awesome. And then vice versa, like coming from the influencers, the smaller guys being like, hey, I'm seeing a bump in following because I'm a part of this. Yep. Which we noticed, I mean, we noticed last year as well, and we made some changes to the website to kind of capitalize on that. Like, there's a couple features, you know, like we have a follow button. All right. Um, and we're not trying to be social media. Like, there's no attempt in that front. But you can essentially, it's like a save button. Save people that you want to check out or, you know, go look at their content. Uh, like, we have, a, we have a portfolio system that people can upload photos and links to their YouTube 
so that when someone's scrolling through the nominees, they can go get a quick glimpse of who you are as a creator. And the and reason uh, why that we did that, and I want to jump into detail a little bit more about that, is because obviously our industry is constantly under attack and under attack tremendously by social media moguls. Um, you know, Facebook does not like us. Instagram does not like us. TikTok does not like us. YouTube does not like us. Everyone, for some reason, does not like us when it comes and i mean by the word us are people that support the god given right as an american to own a firearm mm -hmm. so with that being said what we've really are very proud of about this is the gundies has been a place to where as ben was saying creators can come on with no restriction mm -hmm. meaning somebody like ben said with a million followers they're getting noticed they might not be able to get to that level because there's so many restrictions so now somebody that brings in all these followers, their followers are now checking them out going, wow, I've never seen this person on Instagram before. Wow, I've never seen this person on YouTube. And now all of a sudden they're engaging with these people and going to check out their content because there's amazing people out there. There's awesome content creators out there, influencers, companies that with all these restrictions, the general public can never really see because it's a lot harder unless you just really search them down. So the Gundy's is given an opportunity to be able to – um, I guess bring to light more people that support our community and are working hard to keep our rights alive mm -hmm. through it be, you know, entertainment, through it be reviews. I don't care how they do it. At the end of the day, anyone that supports it in the right fashion, mm -hmm. and I, I say this on about meme pages, meme pages are the same source of, if they're doing it for entertainment factor and they're still promoting the gun world and the firearms, you know, our side, for sure. So good. Let's do yeah. it. Let's spread it. Yeah, still part of the community. We could you can make fun of the community and be part of it. I mean, that's right. that's one of exactly. the things. But so let me rewind here a little bit um, because uh, I know you. If, first of all, let me just let everyone know that these guys reached out to us. They wanted to come on. You know, they didn't want it to be like a soft thing. They wanted to take any questions uh, from all of you out there. I think this came up uh, probably a couple of weeks ago. Someone asked me about it, and, and, and I said it was like a pyramid scheme. So, we'll, yeah, I, I have a couple of questions. Yeah, let's dive in. No, but let's we'll, we'll get into we'll get into that here in a second. I just want to ask okay. this. I want to ask this one question from these guys. Like, who are you guys and what gives you all the authority to do an award show in the gun community? Um, I think that's something that folks out there would want to know before we do anything else. So hit Absolutely. me with that. Love it. Well, I think we're both going to have some uh, interesting answers on this, but yet extremely the same. So right. to give you the background, uh, Ben and I own a company called Forge Relations. We have been part of the firearms community from two different sides tremendously mm -hmm. for going on eight years, eight years, mm -hmm. um, you know, from an influencer side, working with influencers. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember this, but I, I go way back to like the van where they, I go back to when Instagram came to be when gun bunnies were when, like the when thing. gun bunnies were the thing is where that's where we kind of started. Um, mm -hmm. and me, I don't mean the gun buddy aspect. I'm just saying just that's how like far back it goes when people were all into that. <laughs> so having that relationship with the community going to shot show, oh my God, this is going to that. Well, this year would have been my seventh mm -hmm. year going to shot show. So from a social media platform, mm -hmm. from a media, you know, stance, mm -hmm. we have put our hard time in, we put our work in mm -hmm. many, many years over. And from that, we have developed a company called Forge Relations. Uh, we are a media company. We do everything from event coordination to influencer management to content creation to you name it. We do it, websites, graphics, all that good stuff. I mean, we hate the term influencer as right. much as the next person. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, preferred terms, content creator. Content creator. Most yeah. people are just recognize it. You know, right. and, I, and I'm with really you on that. I think influencer to me sounds like hooker. Or whore, yeah, or something 100, like. 100. Yeah, it, it you know, sounds like something where uh, there's a lot of companies out there, and I think we're particularly uh, subject to this in the gun community, where a lot of folks think if you an influencer means they can pay you something, and you'll say this thing is awesome and influence people to go get that thing. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and 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 that's why it has like a a bad connotation. I don't think it's just in the gun community, but there's a lot of people I've come across in the gun community that feel that way about it. Uh, folks in who, the, the guys who write for the magazines, people at the companies, et cetera. 
Right. Sure. Agreed 100%. Sure. And, and you, you brought up a good point. It's like that in every industry because our mm-hmm. firm, we don't just work in the firearms industry. We work car industry. We do some political things. Um, we have a lot of, we work in a lot of different spaces. Anywhere. Mm-hmm. So we thrive, and I want to come back to your original question, but we thrive in industries that can cross promote well with firearms. Like one of our right. big personal goals with, uh, you know, Forge Relations, and I guess this has trickled over into the Gundies, is introducing people to the gun community as a whole. Right. And then also, you know, um, you know, if you're into fast cars or you're into hiking or you're into these things, you probably have some sort of interest in firearms. And yep. like the, the small core of the gun industry is very tiny. Like mm-hmm. the guys that go shoot once a week or, or you know, like twice you're at, a week training and, yeah. constantly. That is such a small, so small, small, small group. Our, Our big thing is to bring it to the America, yep. the public. You know, the guys that buy their one gun a year that go out and they just they like it. They're into mm-hmm. it. The women that are never shot before that want to mm-hmm. learn, want to mm-hmm. experience handling gun for the first time, you know, or just um, just getting it out there in a very safe way. Those are the people that we love working with. And with that being said, we're going with cross promotion. Um, we want to bring in different industries to our industry. It's how, you, it's how we grow the industry right. and how we expand it. Uh, I mean, because at the end of the day, like, this might be perceived the wrong way, but it's an old man, old white dude's industry right now. And we're, we want to change that. Like, yep. that's the only way our industry is going to survive yep. is if it expands past that. So coming back to the, you know, to what makes us able to do this and like, who are we to do this? Um, you know, Forge Relations is built on exactly that, you know, creating relationships with different people and everything we've done to date is through these relationships. You know, it's a phone call versus just a cold. Right. We uh, don't we don't email, email people. Email. We've been doing it so long for most of the influencers. They're in our cell phone. We work with sorry, info, content creators, companies, mm-hmm. you know, and we call brown elves. It's not it's not an email. It is a relationship that we have built through many years. Mm-hmm. Um, all these companies we have worked with them for many, many years. We have helped them with marketing, behind the scenes marketing. So all the companies that you see sponsored, <clears throat> along with the other 15 sponsors for the range day, these are personal relationships that we've either done content creation for, we have helped them with find content creators for their particular products or help them with product launches, um, help them with websites, create a marketing plan. So you know what we do is a full-fledged marketing firm i mean we it's not just ben and i either forge relations does not you know ben and i own it but we do when we work very hard for this because we started out of the basement in my own house okay uh, and in the time i owned a gym and my gym was failing miserably uh planet fitness was coming up putting me out of business essentially oh. i was by the month i was just seeing my revenue just dive and something i've always it's felt like uh, it's like the movie dodgeball Yes, <laughs> you made me bleed my own blood. A hundred. If you, if I could ever live that movie, a hundred percent. That is it. Okay. And I kind of, you know, went to shooting more. I took shooting more as a way to escape that. Uh, my, my ex-girlfriend, some someone we work with a lot with, Alex Zedra. You know, mm-hmm. that's how we started. We actually started together. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, we'd go to escape to that. Well, anyhow, long story short, as that was kind of dying, I always did my own marketing for all my companies I've ever owned. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, just kind of clicked. I met Ben, and we just buckled down and uh, opened up a little. We didn't open up anything. I mean, it. it we, it's, like it's, it's gone every which way. Yeah. I mean, um, and now we're moving to a fifteen thousand square foot facility next wow. month. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, How'd you get hooked up with Post Malone? Um, so long story short, uh, he actually reached out to Ben on Guns Daily. So Ben, of course, owns Guns Daily. Mm-hmm. And then. Um, Ben sent the, the DM along a little bit, and then his manager, Bobby, grew up in my hometown in Jersey. And after that, we just became – I mean, he's one of the most genuine, nicest human beings I've ever met in my life. He's, I just, mean, he's a big kid with a lot of money. Yeah. and you well, know, Yeah, and he's just, it's just very nice to have a uh, – he loves – genuinely loves firearms. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's a collector from many eras. A legit shooter. Yeah, legit shooter. And um, – I'm just very fortunate we've be, we've yeah. developed a really good friendship and you know I I would love to get him to do a podcast. I don't know if that's possible, Ben. <laughs> I've known these guys for a while and if you don't recognize like Ben's face, he is of course as as Will just said the owner of Guns Daily, but you've been around for, I think I've been doing this as long as you, Ben. And Ben, I've 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 known you. He's always been uh kind and helpful. 
So even though we're going to hit hit these guys with some tough questions, uh, I think, Ben, you were probably like, I don't know, man, one of the first people to come on the show, probably. One of the first big guys to come on the show, for sure. In yeah, terms I mean, of, it's been a minute. I mean, I usually stay behind the camera, you know. Yeah. But yeah. we're just, uh, we just try to, like, you know, have fun with it. Mm-hmm. Uh, circle in all, let's come full circle back to uh, mm-hmm. your first question. Um, cause I really, I really do think this is important. So we'll kind of hit, hit the company side of things. The aspect to how we're able to do this with the influencers, we, we keep a database of, it's probably closing on 700 influencers. I mean, that's content creators, content creators. <laughs> yes. Thank you. That's from a thousand followers, probably even lower up to, right. into the millions, Across like the any, country, anyone yeah. in the gun space or anyone that interacts with guns we keep tabs on because that can provide value to our clients. Um, And we, I mean, a lot of times we just want to work with them and, and, you know, create cool content. So from that aspect, there's not many people I think that have something similar that would be able to put it into action. Like, like we did last year and then obviously moving into this year. Um, So, you know, yeah, I think that's the best direct answer to the question is the amount of time we put in it in the database that we have collected with personal relationships. It's many years. With these content. Yeah. Yeah. This wasn't just like a spam email we sent out to people on Instagram saying, hey, sign up for the Gundies. Right. I just wanted to establish, I know John has some uh, questions. He's being very patient (laughs) over there with that. But I just wanted to establish for people who maybe don't know you guys don't, you know, they're like, how were these guys able to do this and how did it catch on? On top of that, you guys just had a good idea. You implemented it well. Uh, It seems like it kicked off, you know, well last year and you're doing it again this year. So, with that being said, John, what's what do you want to know from these guys? Uh, I, I got a couple of questions. Um, how is the Gundies monetized? How do you guys monetize it to make money? Sponsors. So, yeah, so the Gundies itself is not monetized. Um, we don't sell the emails. Um, so we'll let's, come back to that because I want to talk about it more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So one of my other questions I was going to ask. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So essentially monetization just comes from the sponsors. Okay. Now uh, I think, I think in uh, last year, did you sell the emails or is that like, okay. Emails have never. So that, so that's, okay. what so that's a, that's big, a conception that people have out there. Right. Or a misconception. Right. That's, okay. I mean, and that's, it's very hard to break that misconception because that's what everyone does. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like the Gundies is meant to be a bipartisan, neutral platform. As soon as people saw, oh, shoot, I got to put my email in to sign up, they're instantly like, yeah, I'm just like, going to oh, get, get spam. Here gonna we get go. Spam. It's going to be yep. like if anyone's familiar with the SHOT Show list, all you get, done, all you get is just the spam yep. throughout the entire year. We didn't want that to be the case. Now, mm-hmm. last year, as soon as the Gundies was over, January after the ceremony, which I think was like the 18th of January, we didn't send a single not email. One, like it was not one email until announcing 2021. Like that, those Gundies. that 85,000 voter list. Correct. Because we had 85,000 people vote last year, which was incredible for wow. year one. Okay. We didn't touch it at all until we ramped up for this year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then um, full transparency for this year, as part of the deal for the sponsors, is we've made that list very exclusive. So if you're a sponsor of 2021, and the sponsors are, are well aware of this, I'd love the public to be aware of this, yeah. we are providing them two emails to that list throughout the year of 2021. So those are the only emails that um, voters are going to receive yeah. moving through the next year. I mean, we're not going to sell it to anyone else. That was, nope. you know, that was part of the deal. It's like, this is exclusive to you. For believing in us in the gun days. Right. So, so break that down for me so I can understand that. So you will send out two emails. The sponsors won't be doing it. You'll be doing it on their behalf, or how does that work? Yes. Correct. So Correct. no. So and that's after the gun days is over. Right. That's what we're saying. So the difference from this year to last year is after the gun days is officially over, <laughs> there's going to be two more emails throughout the year. Mm-hmm. From each sponsor. From each so sponsor. It's, thir- it's 30 emails throughout the year, so right. give or take two emails right. a month, right? But they're mm-hmm. only from the original sponsors that signed on for 2021 Gundies. And we control that list. Right. They give us the content. We then distribute the content right. that way. Like, because the big, like, well, we want it to be something worth opening. So right. the whole point was we wanted that email, something that, okay, if you do open it, something in there is going to be pretty bad. Mm-hmm. Like, that was the entire purpose. We want to give something to you guys. That's why... 
we didn't we don't ever want to sell that list because we want every time somebody opens that to be like, OK, that's pretty cool. Or, you know, Brownells is doing this. Oh, yeah, I should probably go head over there. That's pretty, pretty special. Plus, mm-hmm. strictly from a marketing standpoint, if we just, you know, like, it would so, dilute yeah, yeah, it, would it would dilute, dilute everything if we sold it. And once again, the Gundy's is part of Forge Relations. Mm-hmm. So the we make money on Forge Relations. You know, we work and do our marketing. That That's how we have to live and put food on our plate. Mm-hmm. The Gundy's was not that. The Gundy's was not made to be a source of income. It was meant to provide something fun for the community and show that me and him can do this. Okay. That, you know, we did this and we, 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 we made it successful. That's what it was about, not okay. about money. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.